my god, oh 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 my god, I'm gonna die. Okay, so this video was supposed to be uploaded after the vlog of Jekyll Island, but it didn't really work out that way because then I went to Florida and then I had to record that vlog, then I had to upload that vlog, and I really didn't want to make this video in the middle of me being in Florida because we were up and going do 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 do. So I didn't really have time to edit nor record it. So that's kind of what happened. Now I'm doing it now. Anyways, basically what happened was me and my friend Emma were going to Dairy Queen because I just got a $10 gift card from my church. And I was like, you know what? Let's go to Dairy Queen. We can walk there. It's not that far. I asked my mom. She says, okay. So then we were walking to Dairy Queen. We get there. And coincidentally, there were two guys. One of them, I do not like. The other one, me and him were cool. We didn't really have any beef. Beef. <laughs> I'm not going to say names besides Emma. Um... Their names are going to be Peach and Orange. I do not like Peach. Orange and I are fine. So basically, um, I was like, Emma, do you want to leave and go to my house and swim? So we're like, yeah. Well, then Peach invited himself. So I called my mom. I'm like, mom, can they come over to swim? She was like, as long as they're not high or having weed on them. I was like, they don't. Okay, we're walking back to my house. Basically, it's my house and then a huge pecan orchard and then like houses. Well, we were like at the line of the pecan orchard, like right about to get to my property. And then a police car zooms in front of us. And then another police car, two of them are behind us. And I'm just like, yes. One of the policemen says, you two come with me, you two come with me. Which part of the two am I? So I go with Emma because I figured two guys, two girls, you know. So I went with Emma and he's like, what happened? And I was like, sir, he said, what happened? And I said, um, me and my friends, me and my friends were walking back from Dairy Queen to go swim in my pool, which is right there. The pool is right there. My house is right there. Then, then we uh, passed a little black boy and then a uh, police car was coming towards us. And then uh, we went on the other side to get out of his way. And the next thing I know, this. And he said, that's not what I'm talking about. And I was like, sir, can you please explain to me what you are talking about? He said, I'm talking about the vandalization or whatever of the mailbox. And I'm like, sir, he said, we just got a call from the lawyer and judge's house right down the road on my same road who said that four white people and a little black boy were going through their mailbox. And I was like, what? No, 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 no. I know that that is illegal. I do not choose to do illegal stuff. It is not my cup of tea. It is not my party. No, thank you. So I, I told him, I was like, S sir, I knew nothing about a mailbox until you just told me. I promise you, I knew nothing about the mailbox. He's like, did you pass little black boy? And I said, yes, sir. He's like, well, he's in the back of one of the cop cars and he was running away from the police and we had to catch him. And I'm just like... So then we are getting questioned. The police guy is saying that we're lying and that we are protecting them. And I'm like, sir, I promise you, I wouldn't protect them. If they vandalized a mailbox, that's on them. I won't protect them because I'm going to save myself. Call me selfish, call me a snitch, but I don't like him. I, I'm, I'm okay with him, but I'm not going to go to jail for them at all. And so then he's like, you know what? You want to do this the hard way? Okay. So I told him, I was like, sir, can I call my mom? He was like, go ahead. So I call her and I'm like, mom, they're saying we vandalized the mailbox. I need you to get right down here right now. It's just right here. We're at the edge of the property. Please just come. So she's taking forever. And I'm like, okay. And then right before she hangs up the phone i'm like mom peach is getting in the back of a cop car and i'm just like oh my god because i knew i was like none of us did anything i promise on god me peach orange and emma did not do anything we should not be questioned right now we should not be going to jail right now we shouldn't be in this situation none of us did anything next thing i know i'm in the back of a cop car so i'm just like oh my god 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god i'm gonna die so then i call my mom again i'm like mom <laughs> we're in the back of a cop car please she's like they're not taking you anywhere and i was like let's go mom so she finally gets there 
and it looks like she's yelling. She's like, but apparently she wasn't yelling at him, so I'm just like, so then she leaves back to the house, and I'm like, what? And we end up getting taken to the lawyer's house. Then he takes my phone. Sir, none of us have a phone now. So I'm freaking out now. The lawyer, or the lady who owns the house of the vandalized mailbox, she identifies all of us. And then she's like, there was a white male who vandalized it and a black little boy. Unless there was another white male following us, that's not we didn't do anything so i'm freaking out now emma is bawling her eyes out orange is shaking and i'm just like hey calm down you look like you're about to turn into the hulk no lie emma shut up <laughs> you're crying now they're gonna think that we did something wrong and that you're crying because you did something wrong you know like so then he asks us again tell me what happened and i tell him the same story Emma and I's story are the exact same. Like, we are on the same dock. We are on the same line. Like, we is good. We is Gucci. But then the cop is just telling us. He's like, tell me what happened. So I tell him, and he pulls. I need some glasses. He does this. Stop lying. Like, oh my god. Stop, please. I'm kind of, like, shaking a little bit. Like, oh my god. I'm going to die. So Emma's bawling her eyes out. And I'm just like, sir, we're not lying. I promise you, me and my friends did not touch a mailbox. He's like, you know what, fine. We're going to the police station. And I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God. So I start praying. I get in the car and I start praying. And he's like, thanks. And I was like, for what? He's like, for praying for me. And I was like, no problem, dude. And I was like, I know you didn't do anything because you guys were standing in front of us the entire time because I don't like guys walking behind me, you know? So then we get taken to the police station and then we are put in jail. They put us all in individual cells. Me and Emma are in a completely different room than the boys. And it's the little black boy, it's orange, it's peach, and then it's Emma and I. They get our social security, our number, or our social security number, our birthdays, and our names. And I'm just like, oh my god. Well then they come out and check our shoes because I guess there's like a footprint or something. And he questions all the guys, but Emma and I are never questioned. Finally, after about two and a half hours of being in that cell, and I was so happy I was tiny because I can literally just like sit straight, like with my feet out and still have like this much room. But that's not the point. So... Finally, a policeman comes and gives Emma my phone because she doesn't have a phone and hers doesn't work. So she calls her parents and she's like, Daddy. And then she's crying her eyes out. So we finally get released into our parents. And <laughs> I was fine because I'm like, my mom knows I didn't do anything. I did not commit a crime. She knows I'm a good child. You know, why well, go in there? And she's pissed. So, I kind of get scared. And then, Emma and I both get two licks, two pops, whatever you call them, with a belt in front of the police. And I started crying because I hate getting, like, hit by my parents. Like, whether it's, like, a tap, a slap, um, pop on the hand, I hate it because I feel like I disappointed them, you know? So then, <laughs> I'm crying. And then I'm like, is my dad mad? And she's like, oh, he's pissed. I'm like, what did I do? And so then he, the boys leave. <clears throat> and then my mom was like, what about the pictures? And I'm like, what? And she said, what happened with the pictures? And I'm like, what is going on? What pictures? And she's like, the nude pictures that you and Emma posted. And no, we did not. I cross my heart, hope to die on oh God, never have taken a nude picture, never taken a booty picture. Never done anything. <laughs> Especially send it or post it, anything. I, I have family on my Snapchat. There's no way I would do it. And so then, yeah. So then the policemen are telling us about all the crimes that go on in Georgia and about 
or in Glenville, I mean, and then how some of the charges Peach had on him, which I knew about one, but I didn't know about the other one, or ones, so yeah, that kind of pissed me off, and I was like, I'm never hanging out with him again, never talking to him, don't care what the situation is, never, oh, in the police station, my phone gets smashed by a um, cylinder block by my stepdad because my mom told him to because they thought that I sent out a nude and then once I got home and I told them that it was of our ankles because Emma just got her toes done and so she like took a picture of her toes but I was like I want to be known so I like put my foot in there you know and then yeah her sister said that um we posted nudes and sent them yeah someone just swerved into our driveway oh my mom realized that it was of our ankles and then she's like oh <laughs> my bad like my mom was acting so fine like as soon as we get in the car and we get home she's fine she's not mad she's not pissed i'm like were you seriously just mad because we were in front of the law really which was true so um but yeah so that kind of happened and then she got me a phone because she realized that she overreacted um but she didn't really get me a phone she kind of just used insurance of my dad um and then pay she didn't even pay for it <laughs> she has to though she has to owe my dad back but yeah so that kind of happened but anyways long story short i was put in jail and then like that night I found out that the little black boy committed he admitted that he commit those crimes um, by himself. So I was like, really, you couldn't admit to doing that before all of us went to jail? Just remember, kids, you are guilty by association because Peach had many, like at least nine charges on him. Remember, you are guilty by association. You will go to jail and you will have a terrifying event happen to you. Um, that was my story. It is 16 minutes long at the moment, so I need to like trim this up somehow. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this experience of mine. Hopefully, it wasn't too boring. I thought it was pretty freaking terrifying. I'm glad I waited a little bit, otherwise I would be crying at this point. Um, like, comment, and subscribe give me some video ideas because i don't really know um also i have to i got all this stuff at um oh my god at um florida so if you guys want to see what's in there comment down below <laughs> um yeah anyways have a good day good night bye